Hello and welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. Today I am reviewing. Today I am reviewing the Hunter Lang Old and Rare 36 year old Lindbergi. Now, 47.4%. Lindbergi is a very wasted spirit. Actually, I think that in a lot of things, um, because it's such a, like, a, lot, a lot of spirits are so unique that, um, you know, in a single malt form, especially single barrel form, it's just such an experience, but, I'll, you know, whoever owns Gunbergi, I actually forget who owns Gunbergi, but Valentine's is usually the blend that you find it in. Recently, global um, regional releases have actually released Glenbergi single malt in a Valentine's branding. Um, that's pretty cool. That's pretty exciting. I think um, some companies are now catching on that single malt is quite novelty and that um, investing in that is actually worthwhile. But, you know, I guess um, when 85% or 80% of the global whiskey market is blended and um, cheap and cheerful, three year old pump them out. Um, then that's probably why, you know, that's still a big money maker for, um, for, for a lot of distilleries. But um, this particular one, 36 year old Glenbergi, let's get nosing. <coughs> apricot, dried apricot. Lemon peel on the nose. What a ballsy nose. Big balls on the nose. Fruity. Fruity is a general um, nose of it so far. And as you can see, I'm using the butt plug to make sure that I'm getting as much of the nose as possible. It's not my go-to glass, it's just my nosing glass and my tasting reviewing glass, okay? Sickly coconut, I'm guessing this is a bourbon cask. Don't really care, just observation. But definitely lemon peel, citrus. A drop of lemon juice, a little bit of lime. It's like a citrus bouquet. It's got a little bit of a greenness to it, a greenness, you know. I can't put my finger on, but. Greenness to it, like green leaves. If you get a bunch of different green leaves and you crush it, a little bit of green leaves. Baby talc, like a talcum powder. But you can tell that the, the, the spirit is quite well aged, very involved. I'm not getting that new make banana passion fruit flavor on the nose. It's lightly wooded. Strangely enough, it's got a hint of smoke in the background. I, I don't quite know where it's coming from, but Glenbergi is not something that I've known to be smoky, but it's got a little bit of a smoke. Last but not least, I think I'm getting a... Like I said, it's quite a heavy, heavy nose. Quite a punchy nose. I'm getting a bit of, you know, new nail polish. And the descriptions that I give might be a little bit obscure and weird, but I mean them in... Unless I say, I mean them in the best way possible. Let's get sipping. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's punchy and fiery. I'm getting dried apricots, unripe apricots. Actually, I'm getting a sensation of um, unripe stone fruit, like unripe nectarine, unripe apricot. But I'm definitely getting a key lime pie. Key lime pie with coconut. It's buttery, it's a little oily. A little bit of that sickly coconut, a little bit of vanilla, and definitely, definitely citrus oil. Lemon peel, lemon peel and lemon juice. Mm. Very bright, very bright and vibrant whiskey. Mm, mouth is salivating. It's got a slight acidity to it, a slight sourness to it that's from the citrus. Um, but it's a very bright and fruity, fruity whiskey. I'm getting a little bit of floral sensation in my mouth. Jasmine flowers, honeysuckle, 
a little bit of honey, like a honey that's been watered down in um, um, warm water. And a very, very slight herbaceousness in the back palate. Very, very slight herbaceousness. And I'm thinking just a pinch, a pinch of licorice. That's it, really. Yeah. I mean, that's... Mmm. An excellent dram. No new make, no new make influence. That is a sign of a great, great bottling. And 36 years old doesn't mean that it's going to be an exceptional bottling. I've had a 42 year old before and it's just been absolute shite. Um, so this is a great example. I'm becoming more and more of a fan of the old and rare series. Unfortunately, there's, you know, they're diminishing every passing day, but this is absolutely a great example of what a Glenburgie can be, given enough age and a great barrel. Um, the only criticism I have of it is that, and this could be a Glenburgie trait as well, because I've had Glenburgies that are younger, they don't seem, it doesn't seem to develop sip after sip. So I've had three sips already, I'm not getting that development of compounding flavours. Like, I'm not getting that compounding flavours of, de of development which some whiskies are just known for, some distilleries, it's just great, it just compounds more and more complexity and flavor. I'm not getting it with this. I'm just not getting it with it. Um, it's a delicious whiskey, but the, the, the finish is a little bit medium, medium to long. I'm not gonna say medium, it's definitely medium to long, but the complexity is not too much. The mouthfeel is not too, too, too much depth. Um, so it's on the light side of whiskey. It's zesty. It's bright, but the finish does lack a little bit of um, of, of trail. So that's the downside of this particular whiskey. Um, but it's a delicious, delicious whiskey nonetheless. Would I rush to buy it again? I'm not sure if I would. I'm not sure if I would rush to buy it again. I think that for the money, for the for the for, for the money, you can definitely get something a little bit better. Um, so no, I don't think I would rush to get it again, to be honest. Um, is it delicious? Yeah, it's delicious. Is it compelling? Not as compelling as I want it to be. Yeah, so that's my view on it. Uh, whiskey pairings, well, I mean, if you don't already have this bottle, I'm not going to bother, uh, sorry, uh, cigar pairings, I'm not going to bother with that because I don't recommend rushing to the shop and getting this particular bottling. Um, it's, it's delicious, but it's not something that I would say the value proposition is there. Until next time, make sure you eat smoke drink. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time. Keep eating and drinking and smoking. No, that's not that's not medical advice.